in a certain extent, the struggle against homophobia is entangled in the struggle against AIDS uh, in the developing world. What kind of, how do you see that connection? How, how do you evaluate the kind of work that you've done in that regard? This is one of the last great human rights struggles on the planet. And, uh, and it has this reverberation in terms of HIV and AIDS. And it compromises lives in the sense that the, uh, the anti-homosexuality laws are so damaging to the lives that gay men lead in many countries that it drives them underground. They don't get tested. They don't mm -hmm. seek treatment. They, they are more susceptible to transmission of the virus because they can't rely on any of the normal uh, clinics and health centers that are available in society. They, they present themselves and the homophobia is so crazy that they are abused even mm -hmm. in their physical presence. And in order to demonstrate that they're not really gay, they're heterosexual, they'll, they'll enter into liaisons with women and women will get infected. In a, in a country like Jamaica, uh, the prevalence rate in the population as a whole is 1.6 percent. The prevalence rate amongst men having sex with men, the gay community, is 32 percent. I mean, that's a staggering disparity. Mm -hmm. And it shows the importance of getting rid of the homophobic laws. But that's just the first step. Because getting rid of the homophobic laws doesn't mean you transform life for the gay community. Their violations of human rights continue to abound. You know, it, it, they, they're still discriminated against. They're still stigmatized. The community is still hostile. There's no such thing as gay marriage. You can't, you know, you can't hold hands walking on the beach without having people throwing stones at you. It's, it's, it's even when you get rid of the legal apparatus, you're left with these terrible violations of human rights on a daily basis. We have to be as fierce with our laws against people who discriminate against gays as we are fiercely and in a highly ugly way perverse with our laws against gays. So unless you change the culture of the society, unless you change the homophobic society, well, let me tell you a little story which you may or may not be familiar with. <clears throat> last, <clears throat> last April, in Montego Bay in Jamaica, the homophobic reggae singer, Sisla, who's been, who's had his uh, visa revoked for the United States, the United Kingdom, etc. Sisla sang a song from the platform, as everybody could have predicted he would, advocating the killing of gays from the platform. The entire concert was sponsored by Coca-Cola. And behind Sisla was a big zero Coke sign. And here's a guy on a platform advocating the killing of gay men from the platform at a huge concert in Jamaica. We went after Coke in no uncertain terms. And they have given us the runaround over the last six months, which is positively exquisite in the annals of uh, deception in a multinational corporation. But we're not fools. We won't let them off the hook. So we've kept after them. And just three or four days ago, we wrote to the head of Coca-Cola in Atlanta, to Mutar Kent, and we copied the entire board of directors because we were getting nowhere with the lesser mortals on the ladder. And we've told him that unless you take out full page advertisements in every single paper in Jamaica and apologize, and unless you sponsor a gay friendly concert at the International AIDS Conference in Washington next year, unless you really show the world that you're serious about equality and diversity, we're going to go after you internationally. And uh, I think they're just, they think they're dealing with a bunch of nondescript nitwits in an NGO. We've now uh, initiated a petition, a legal challenge to the homophobic laws in Jamaica before the Inter-American Commission. It is the first ever challenge of the anti-homosexual law in Jamaica, indeed in the Caribbean. And when it is heard, we hope to win and change the nature of what's happening in the Caribbean. Okay, thank you uh, very much, Stephen Lewis. It's been wonderful. Okay. Thank you. Bye -bye.